What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Today was an unbelievable day for Madden Ultimate Team users as many of you guys made out with insane crazy profits of over 1.5 million coins. I'm going to tell you guys what's going on with it but I'm also going to let you guys know they took the set down uh, after it became a little viral on social media so some of you guys were not able to take advantage of it. So these are the reasons why I tell everyone that watches my videos to hold your tokens unless you definitely want something because if you didn't have any tokens today, you probably were really, really upset. So the Legends, to be honest, they haven't really been as good. So many of us already had Legend tokens sitting around. The last time, just so you guys know, the last time that I used my Legend token is when I got 87 overall Legends champion Charles Haley for free a week before he dropped because it was a bug in the system. So his card didn't even have a cover yet, but we had him. Because I try to explain, right? There's a lot of different things that go on when EA drops content. And to be honest, they I don't know what they're doing. And in most cases, I don't think any of us think that they know what they're doing. But either way, whenever there's something that we're going to get a benefit from, it gets patched immediately. So today, it was this 80 plus overall Legends token pack, right? So when you go to it and you read it, it tells you you're supposed to get 180 plus overall, you know, player from it you get 180 plus overall people were getting actual 100 dollars bundles dude like it was wild stuff shooting out 87s 89s like it was what dude it was crazy platinum packs all kind of weird stuff was going on so once too many people started to redeem it and you know a lot of people started to sell the cards and make a lot of coin ea took it down the reason that i'm showing you where it is is because these are just some of the things that people test out now it's all about those individuals that are willing to sacrifice their tokens that let everybody else know those are the real mvps because the person that did it first that shared it that guy is what made everybody in the community for the most part eat okay so i want to make sure that i'm very clear about that always hold on to your tokens unless for whatever reason there's a card that you absolutely want because it doesn't really make any sense otherwise to use them don't just get a new card just because it's a new card don't be that type of person because a lot of these cards suck so right now we are up to week 10 um i don't know how many of you guys have done all your challenges or whatever but like i said i get mine done you know with usually within a day or two after it you know after it releases unless i actually need the tokens because there's a card that i actually want Otherwise, you know, I just wait it out. But again, I would encourage everybody watching this video to grind the actual offline content as well as the online content. Now, speaking of the online content, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of food for thought right now. This week, right, when you play inside the Mutt Champs and you win at least 16 games, right? I'm going to show you guys what's going on with the rewards and the divisions, all that stuff. You have to win at least 16 games, okay? And then you'll get that Mutt Champs BND Player Fantasy Pack. Now I got about three of them. I don't open them. They update if you don't open them. So as long as you keep them and just, you know, if you if you win weekly and you just don't open it, if they drop a new player that you like, it will update and you'll be able to get a newer player later on. And they update it ever so often, you know, every so often, whatever, every couple, three weeks, whatever, whatever it is. But they drop one that you need to get. And I'm going to explain to you guys how you can actually utilize this method to make some coins. All right. Because right now, with the way the market is, it's kind of wild, but I'm going to go over some stuff. Now, I don't have him in my lineup yet, but I'm going to show you guys what the deal is and some of the perspective things you can actually do if you take this route. So Mike Williams is the new card, right? And he's a Jet and a Charger. Most likely, you're not a Chargers theme team because Chargers don't really have that OP of a, team, uh, of a theme team right now. So it wouldn't be something that I would recommend you do. Uh, the Jets theme team would be the way to go about it if you were going to do it. But this card is absolutely free. And if you were to go Jets theme team, if you are, you know, you are a Jets theme team, whatever, him being 89 speed with a 91 Excel and 64 is actually ridiculous. It's actually a really, really good card. So the reason that I'm pointing all this out to you is because if you were one of those individuals that actually completed the set for DK Metcalf, and you were wondering right now, based on this price and stuff that's going on, what you should do, this is something that you have to heavily consider. Now, I recently got this, um, you know, somebody donated, shout out to Tronathan, he donated uh, for a bundle and we put it together and got DK Metcalf for about one, what, two mil, I think? He's like two mil, all right? I don't have a need to sell him right now because he's still gonna be 91 speed and they're still dropping Randy Moss next week. And he's only at 89 speed, but he's probably, you know, chemmed up 90, whatever. Okay, so he's gonna be decent. This is the thing though. 
What if you got that Mike Williams and you didn't care because you had DK Metcalf for like, you know, you've had him for, since he came out. I just actually got him today. So I want to still see how good he is. If you've already had him, right? And you simply compare how he would go up against this guy. It's almost like it's very, very similar in numbers. So it comes down to what do you really believe other than the 91 speed? What do you really believe you're getting out of the card? Now, the catch and traffic, the spec catch, all that stuff, DK Metcalf clears them. You know, deep route running, medium route, all that stuff, right? But we all know, if you get an 89 speed guy, that's 6'4", and he beats the press, and you lob it, most likely he's gonna catch the ball. What makes DK Metcalf special? It is that 91 speed, and you know, obviously he gets all 32 team chems. But the reason that I'm letting you guys know that is because some of you guys don't grind the mutt champs, this is the time I would recommend that you do it. So let's look at what the price ranges are and if it makes sense, because I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, gee, I missed another glitch. Yo, it's a bummer. You probably still, a lot of you guys still have a lot of cards, you know, right now in your binder that can still turn out to make you a lot of coins very soon. Team diamonds, all this stuff is going to be coming. So it's not like you missed out on everything. Everybody cannot, you know, take advantage of every single glitch and EA Sports is waiting to see us start doing stuff and they go ahead and they take it down immediately. So it's very, very hard to actually get it done. But if you wanted to do this and just clear the 2 million coins and use Mike Williams for now, I think you would be able to make it work if you were to make a jet theme team and make him 89 speed. Because remember, we already had a jet theme team, but then we went to Arizona because we changed our corners and a lot of other stuff, right? This is something else that I want to point out. The Jets theme team is actually really easy to put together and it's very, very cheap. So depending on your situation, right? If you were to clear the two mil, it'll probably cost you somewhere around 300K to finish up a Jet theme team. And I think, I think that that's relatively cheap right now, especially with the fact that Team Diamonds are dropping. And when that happens, it's gonna be an influx with prices of certain cards that go into the set, mainly the lower level ones. So let me just show you guys really quickly what's going on. And remember, some of the cards won't show, okay? You won't be able to see a lot of them, okay? So don't go too crazy about it like, yo, gee, I don't really see all... Look, it doesn't matter. Some of them you won't see, but there are a lot of cards like the Cromartie, all that stuff. There's, there's cards that just don't have the logo of the Jets on the card, but it's there. Okay, so it's very, very simplistic to do. I want to make sure that everybody understands though, okay? If you were to sell the DK Metcalf and get your two mil now, if you do have a Niner theme team or any other team, Vikings, whatever, that Moss played for, we know that Randy Moss is coming this week also, and he's not going to be anywhere near as expensive. So you have to make that decision right now. I just wanted to point it out to you because I think he's a really good card, and uh, you rarely get those type of cards. Well, I can't even say that. Because another good card was Drake London, and he's also free. The problem with him is he's starting to run out. He's starting to become outdated, uh, simply because you know he's 87 speed, and you know a lot of the corners are a lot faster now. But he also is a 6'4 demon. So when they give you these cards with these heights and these speed, I highly recommend it. Um, but again, I'm just giving you guys some food for thought to kind of figure it out. If you are a member of the channel and you have further questions, go ahead and shoot them out there. I'll get back to you. Other than that, you guys enjoy your day. Stay well, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.